She had been debating for a while now whether she wanted to hold her baby on her chest or not, skin to skin. And she watched the podcast, heard me talk about how I had Sophie on my chest after she was born. And she said, I have been praying to God for a sign on what's the best course of action to take here. And she's like, this was my sign. Jesus disciple, like when he was washing the feet and he said to his disciples, like, I did this for you so that you would be able to do this for somebody else. I think what happens is we go from living with emotion to living emotionally and we allow our emotion to dictate how we live life as opposed to us allowing how our emotion should be dictated. I know all the time I'll text my mom and be like, I miss Sophie a whole lot today. And she'll be like, I know, baby, me too. And that is just enough to keep me feel like I'm seen and I'm heard and I'm loved. Just continually eating the word of God, as I call it, that's when you start to have that identity of knowing what thoughts are godly thoughts versus which is from the enemy. And the enemy has access to your mind if you're not in the war room and using the sword against him.